Greetings, my dear children. This is your EVS class. I welcome you all. In last class, we discussed about the central and the state government. In today's class, we will discuss about the organs of the central government. Let's get started. Dear children, as we know, the human body has different organs. Obviously, these organs have been assigned physical tasks, right? Just like the human body, even government needs organs to function efficiently. The Union Government or the Central Government of India has three organs. The Legislature, the Executive and the Judiciary. The Legislature The function of a legislature is to make laws. These laws have to be followed by all the people residing in the country. The laws framed by the legislature are implemented by the other two organs of the government. The members of the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha are part of legislature of the central government. Second organ of the central government is the executive. The executive implements the laws. It runs the day-to-day -day administration of the country. It is also allowed to take decisions for the country according to the constitution and laws framed by the legislature. Prime Minister and his ministers form the executive organ of the government. Now the third organ is the judiciary. This organ gives judgments based on the laws that have already been passed and implemented. They help uphold peace and order in a good government. If the executive and the legislature have any differences, the judiciary can step in and find the solution. It works independently. The Supreme Court of India is considered the judicial organ of the central government. Dear children, similarly, the state government has three organs of government. The legislative assembly of the state forms the legislature. The state government led by the chief minister forms the executive. Courts headed by high courts form the judiciary at the state level. So dear children, these were the organs of the government. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.